Hi Pisces, this is Nayla Latrice and I am here to do your um, your weekly read for September the 14th through the 20th. So we're going to jump right in. But as I was taking a few deep breaths before I started your read, I heard drowning. So I'm not sure um, if you guys are really emotional about something and you guys are drowning in your emotions. Um, also, if any of you guys are have pools in, in your backyard or anything, just make sure that um, it is you guys are safe and you guys um, are paying attention to children that's around or whatever the case may be. I ain't trying to take it there, but I heard drowning for whatever reason. So. Um, just make sure that you guys are cautious and aware, okay? Um, let's see what Spirit has to say for you. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Pisces? What messages do you have for my beautiful Pisces? Ooh. Okay, we got three out off the bat. Mmm. So we have the devil here. We have the star. And then we have the lovers. So I feel like you guys were in some type of a toxic situation. You guys may have been dealing with an Aquarius. I feel like you guys were in some type of toxic situation before that you guys are getting out of or letting go of. I also feel like this is saying that there's some things that are in your life that are toxic that you need to work on as well, that you need to heal from. And once you deal with your toxicity, um, we, ha we, all, we all have toxic um we can all have toxic traits that is within us um, and it may not necessarily be toxic um but they're just some things you have something that's unhealed you have something that's unhealed within you some type of addiction or something um that uh that you're not seeing something that could have been from childhood. Um, this RIP is sticking out to me. So there could be something um, dealing with uh, somebody that has passed on that you have not forgiven or letting go. Or maybe somebody did something to you and they're no longer here. Um, I don't know where that's coming from. However, whatever that is, I feel like you have to deal with it. You have to heal from that. Okay, Pisces. And once you do that, that is going to lead you to the love that you want. I feel like you want love, but you're not able to get the love that you desire until you deal with um, some things. And maybe that's why I heard drowning as well. Maybe somebody passed away as well. And you guys are just really, really angry and frustrated about this person that has passed away. Mm hmm. I'm sorry if that is the case for some of you guys. I am sorry that that has happened. Um, I do feel like that may have happened for, some, for, for somebody. So I do apologize. I feel like you may have been really, really connected with this person. And it's just, it's just it kind of just turned you around. Kind of just brought out maybe, you know, just a, a different side of you. But I feel like you, you have to heal. Um, take the time that you need. Um, this is I'm talking specifically for the right now for the person that they may have lost a loved one. Take the time that you need to heal. OK. For the rest of you guys, um, I feel like there is something that is toxic that is in your life, whether it is a person um, or whether these are traits that you guys have. But there's something that you need to heal from Pisces. You have a lot of healing that you have to do. And I feel like you want love, but you're not able to get the love that you guys desire until you heal from whatever this hurt or pain is. Um, because I, I'm hearing plague. So I feel like it's almost plaguing you. But that sun card wanted to come out. And then we have the sun back here as well. So giving way too much at one time, spirit. So let's dive on deeper. Why is the devil here, spirit? Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here for Pisces? Why is the devil here? I'm hearing addictions as well. So some of you guys may have some unhealthy addictions. Or maybe this person passed away from an addiction. Ah, that could be it too. There may have been an overdo uh, overdose. Spirit, why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Ooh, yeah, some, mm, somebody lost someone. 
I hate to turn this read like this. This is not for everybody, but this is for the person it's for because they need they need this help right now. They need to hear the words that I'm that I'm speaking. Yeah, you guys are really hurt. Understandably so. You guys lost someone and I feel you guys lost someone to maybe an addiction. And your healing is really hard for you guys right now, which is understandable. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you guys are in a lot of pain. And that's why I heard drowning. You guys are drowning in your pain and in your sorrow and in your tears because you guys lost someone. Why is the star here, spirit? Why is the star here? There is love here as well, though. But I again, I still do feel like for some of you guys there there, you guys have to let go and heal. You guys have to heal. Um, you have to heal. You have to face your shadow side. You have to be comfortable with your shadow side. You have to stand up to your shadow side. You have to stand up and say, hey. Yes, I have this problem. Yes, I did this. Yes, I scream. Yes, I yell. Yes, I was ad am addicted. Whatever the case may be. Yes, I am abusive. Whatever the case may be, you have to face yourself. And that is the most healing thing that you can do. And that is also going to allow true love to come in. Because Pisces, I feel like you guys are also really emotional because you want love. I feel like you guys really want love, but I feel that you can't have the love you really, really, really desire unless you heal yourself first. Otherwise, you're going to keep getting in the same situations and the pieces of you that you're not focused on, that you're not that you're choosing to not deal with. You're going to continue to attract those things in another partner. So even if it's 95 percent good. Trust and know that it can be 100% good. So you can settle for the 95%. Hey, that's good. But you can have the 100% if you just work on yourself. And the thing is, your relationship may be 95% good, but you're not going to be all the way good. As an individual, the goal is to be 100% good as yourself, as an individual. No matter whether the relationship is good or not, you need to make sure that you are good and that you are healed. That's the ultimate love. Mm hmm. You have to love on yourself more. Why is the star here? I'm so sorry for your loss. Whoever whoever this is, I'm speaking to that one person. Um, I'm I'm sorry for I'm sorry for your loss. Cause I can feel your energy. And that specifically is not for everyone. Um, but for the rest of you guys, you guys do have some addictions or some some unhealthy behaviors that you guys need to let go of. Um, yeah, we have the goddess of swords here. You got to cut it out. You got to cut that off. Some of you guys are really struggling. You got to cut it off. But you guys are able to move forward from this. You guys are able to conquer this is what spirit is saying. You guys can conquer it. You guys go get the help that you need. If it's that bad, go and get the help that you need. Why is the lovers here, spirit? Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here, spirit? Why is the lovers here? We have the seven of cups. Somebody is thinking about you, Pisces. Mm -hmm. Somebody is thinking about you. And then we have the fool. Somebody wants to wants you to take this leap of faith with them. Mm -hmm. And then we have the God of cups here. This is you. This is also I feel like this is you drowning in your emotions, but you can get in you can get you can get on top of it. You are the one that's in control. Mm hmm. Remember, the God of Cups, which is the King of Cups, is cool, calm, chill, collective. They keep their emotions intact. They know how to um, they're they're the sensible ones. You're very, very sensible, Pisces. That's who you are. You're the king of water. 
And right now, I understand that, you know, right now you may feel that you are drowning and that you're not the king of water and that you that your emotions are all over the place. You are human. So give yourself some compassion. Don't be so hard on yourself. Allow yourself to feel if you feel like you're drowning, allow yourself to feel like you are drowning. However, don't allow yourself to drown. Allow, save yourself. And you can save yourself by reaching out for help or doing what it is that you that, that, that you know you can do to help yourself from drowning. Don't just drown. Don't just sit in it. Take action. Do something about it. I know this is not the re this is not what I was expecting for you guys, Pisces. But the message that needed to get out had to get out. But there is somebody who is thinking about you and they're very emotional about you and they want you to take this leap of faith with them. I saw the strength card that wanted to pop out. You guys need to draw upon your strength right now, Pisces. But besides all of this, besides the healing and so forth, we already know that the healing needs to take place. I'm not going to focus on that anymore. There is new love here for you. There is love or either renewed love. I feel like maybe some of you guys were in a break from someone, possibly. And maybe that is also why you, your relationship did not work out. So whether this is new love or renewed love, it can work if you guys deal with your 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 inner selves. Supreme. Now, if this is not an amazing card to get right now and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the world. Things are definitely changing for you. Things are changing for you, Pisces, but I feel like it's happening slowly. Mm -hmm. But things are changing. You guys are in the middle of changing. And I feel like this, um, this whole situation here has woken you up. It has allowed you to see uh, life for what it really can bring. Life is not always gumdrops and rainbows and everything sweet and nice. Sometimes we have to take the, the, the sour with the sweet. But this too shall pass is what I'm hearing. This uh, Supreme card, a few other signs got this L. This is spirit saying, hey, remind, this is spirit reminding you of who you are. The Supreme has everything that he or she needs. All the elements, all the tools. You are the substance that is seen and unseen. You are the universe. This is reminding you that you are the same energy that makes up the sun. You are the same energy that makes up the grass and the stars and the rain and everything else that is infinite. Your soul is infinite. Remember who you are. Remember the power that you have. You are a very powerful being, Pisces. This world is more water. Than what it is earth. I'm an earth sign. I'm a Virgo. So I like to say. Hey Virgo is. It? We, and we are. We are the best. Yes we are. However. We have to have water. We have to have. Um, yeah we got. Look I was about to say. We have to have earth. We do need earth. <laughs> this is not about you Nayla. You have to have water. The world is made up of more water than anything else. So you guys have to know your power. You guys are king. You guys are God. You guys are goddesses. You guys are queens. Know who you are and use this power. Harness this power to get yourself out of this drowning feeling. You control the waters. Do you understand that? You control your emotions. You control your, your feelings. Do not allow yourself to drown. Understand that there is great love that is waiting for you that you can take this leap of faith on. Okay? But you have to remember who the fuck you are. I had to say it like that. It needed to be said like that. Remember who you are. Because you are powerful. You are the God of water. You are the one that's in control, okay? And things are changing for you. Even though it may feel like it is happening slowly, 
everything is exactly on time. Everything is happening as it should. Okay, Pisces, I am going to leave your read there. If I have said anything that has resonated with you, please hit the thumbs up button and also hit that subscribe button so you can be added to the family over here. And if you want to dive deeper into your own personal situation, then you can click the link down below in the description box to book your own personal read. Bye, Pisces.